we're more connecting than ever with Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, but we are more disconnected than ever. We see people coming in that are also extremely lonely and they say, I really don't have friends. And they come into our community and they get that support instantly. I grew up with Lewis, and when he was 19, he was diagnosed with bipolar and schizoaffective disorder. And three years later, uh, he went for a walk and never came home. say, hey, I'm feeling really sad and suicidal, we have a Slack bot that instantaneously writes back to you and says, hey, by the way, this is the suicide hotline, this is the crisis text hotline. If you want to speak to a mod, just exclamation point mods. And we actually just had a case like that. So within two minutes of her writing that message, like eight people were like, hey, we're here, we're here. We chose Slack as a platform because we realized a lot of people were struggling during work. So it's kind of strange if you're on Facebook during the day for like a half hour or an hour talking in a Facebook group and especially one that's like explicitly saying that it's for mental health. If you're using Slack during work, people could kind of just walk by your desk and not think twice. Mm -hmm. 